He's ready to fight. He's ready. All right, high stakes here in the UFC's featherweight division between a couple of future Hall of Famers, Alexander Volkanovsky and Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky could have been an outstanding rugby league player. Played as north as 214 pounds. We're very thankful to have him in the UFC where he has become one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. One of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. That athleticism is on full display every time he goes in the octagon. But I want to focus on Max Holloway a little bit. When you're down 0-3, when you have been so dominant against everyone else, how do you solve the puzzle? Max Holloway needs to get forward, he needs to press, and he has got to get Volkanovski outside of his comfort zone. Volkanovski's too comfortable right now whenever they're fighting, and that is leading to Max constantly gets behind and having to try to play catch up against a great champion. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Oh, nice job to land the knee to the body, man. I wish I was that tall. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Nice. Nicely done. Max Holloway at his best in the stand-up here tonight. Could there be any better representation of Hawaiian MMA than Max Blesthoff? Oh, big elbow. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Oh, man, another huge kick. Oh, nice. Nice. for this striker coming out swinging early as we expected everything being thrown with fight ending intent. He throws everything so hard but he said to us when we talked to him early in the week he goes I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I get taken down long as I get to put some leather on the guy that I'm fighting before. Volkanovski's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. All right, so Hawaii's Max Holloway trying to put the finishing touches on this one. Not necessarily the volume we saw in that record-setting performance against Calvin Cater, but he has been throwing punches and bunches. He's one of the only people that can strike at this rate. He's one of the only people that can continue to go and build double leg shot. Oh, amplitude slam for him there. Wow. Beautiful transition. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Holloway gets up. He is back on the feet here. Takedown defense holds up. Round two straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of Great getting fight. taken down back to the mat again. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together to the sort of skill level of these two fighters. Holloway's nose is bleeding now. Oh! And he comes through with a big knee. Good the punches he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, huge kick to the leg. And we got a fight on our hands. Holloway's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Danny. Oh! Another one! 
So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to fight him. here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the bat, John Papers went flying. It was what amazing. That? Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> Starting to do some really sick. Two minutes to go here in our second round. So tough. They really have laid on the road. Oh, nice takedown defense. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has cleared and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. A lot of blood now, and yes, the doctor is going to be called in. The referee pauses the action. His nose is absolutely mangled. It's smashed. He's uh, done a great job of smashing that nose, pushing it back. You see the blood coming down the face into the mouth. But it should not affect him being able to see his opponent in front of him. Well, it looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. Round two here. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have been a straight connection right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get their foot. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Third and final round here. Holloway gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Stuffs that takedown attempt. With that. Oh, strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's going to knock down on his mother. They will let this effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ready for the official decision, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max Blessed Hall. 